Hey folks, it's Echo here. In Alpha 20, we had Game Stage and Loot Stage. And now in Alpha 21, we're gonna add a new mechanic called Trader Stage. At its core, this is a mechanic meant to slow progression so that we're not seeing things like motorcycles on day two. So slap on those nerdy glasses and let's go. First off, you've got three variables. You've got player level. Next, you have Trader Quest here. Now this one's interesting because different traders will end up having different trader stages based off of the quest tier level you've unlocked. The final variable is your level of daring adventurer. Now all we have to do is plug this into the simple formula, which is player level times one plus the quest tier plus daring adventurer times 10. We take the most simplistic example of this. We would have a starting character with no perks, which would be level one. Then we would multiply that by the quest tier plus one, which in this case would be two. And since we have no points in daring adventure yet, that would be a zero. Overall, this leads us to one times two plus zero for an overall of two trader stage for a starting character. But the question you're probably asking yourself is, why do I care? And the answer is pretty straightforward. Your trader stage is going to dictate which items are available to purchase from the trader. So each trader, when you go to them, is going to have essentially a fixed inventory. And what you're looking at when you roll up there is a filtered version of their inventory based on your trader stage. The way this works is that each item will have a minimum trader stage and a maximum trader stage. And as long as your game stage is between those two numbers, then your filtered view at that trader will have that item show up. So as a quick practical example, I've gone ahead and added in green here the minimum and maximum trader stage for each item on page one of Trader Bob's inventory. For right now, let's just focus on the bicycle handlebars, which have a max game stage of 50 and the stone shovel that has a max game stage of 20. If we can raise the game stage beyond those thresholds, we shouldn't see those items in Trader Bob's inventory. To test this out, we're gonna alter two of the variables, starting first with level, and we're gonna bump ourselves up to level 18 using admin tools, and then use all these tickets to turn in, which will increase our available quest tier to tier two. Plugging this into the formula, we now have player level 18 multiplied by one plus the updated quest tier, which is now two. So 18 times three, which is gonna get us to 54, plus daring adventurer, which we don't have any levels at. So it is just game stage 54. So let's jump back on in and see if the numbers worked out as expected and not quite. So a couple observations stick out upon seeing this, the first of which is that the bicycle handlebars and the stone shovel did not go away when we jumped up to game stage 54. If we look at the updated inventory, the other thing worth noting is that the iron fire axe, the iron sledgehammer, and the ratchet all unlocked because we crossed over the 15 minimum game stage for those. And similarly, they did not go away when we crossed over the 40 maximum game stage. So this is one of those situations, folks, where I had to stop making this video. I actually went back out went to a bunch of different traders, tested a bunch of things so that I can actually give some better answers to you. And here's what I know at this stage. What I know is that the minimum trader stage noted in the XML files here is required for those items to show up in the trader inventory. The maximum game stage noted for the items is a complete mystery to me. And if you know, please let me know down in the comments so I can make an updated video on this. Now I'm gonna try to keep this video pretty short and sweet, but I do wanna give you a full list of all the item groupings and their associated min and max trader stages so that you can kind of experiment. But before I do, I wanna drive a couple points home to help you accelerate your game progress. The first of these, if it wasn't obvious, is that you have to get to tier two quests as quickly as possible. Since the quest tier is a multiplier, it has a massive impact on your trader stage. The second recommendation I would give is to consider putting just a single point in daring adventure in the early game because the first threshold you're trying to get to is only 25 trader stage. So speaking of thresholds, let's go ahead and take a look at the table that I put together. This is built from about three or four different XML files in the game configs. My goal in creating this was to build a template that I could quickly manipulate the numbers in the formula and see kind of visually what the impact was. I've started with this configuration because I wanted to go back to the initial premise that we had when I started the video and the formula and whatnot. So we've got player level one, trader quest tier one, Derek adventure is zero. So that gives you a trader stage of two. And more importantly, this is the opening trader stage and the items that you will see available to a starting character. Important thing to note here is that these are what are possible there's still RNG and probability that factor into what will show up at each of the traders based off of their specialties. So now that we understand that, as we move down the table, these are the more high-end things down at the bottom. You move all the way to the gyrocopter at the end. But the idea here is that the items in green are the ones that are currently available based off the trader stage. And essentially all that is, is the trader stage is falling between the min and the maximum. 
The other thing I'll point out at the table before we start doing some manipulation of it is that traders, the items fall within a grouping. So up here at the top, we have all these different ammo types are falling into ammo tier one. Obviously there's gonna be a subsequent ammo tier two down here, but this one does not unlock until you hit tra trader stage 25. So if we move on into the second scenario that we talked about, and we move from player level one, and instead we move up to level 18, and we move it to quest tier two, we get to 54, we can see the, the formula here is updated appropriately and a good chunk of the table unlocks for us at this stage. So we're talking all the way down to being able to find a mini bike itself within the trader, as well as the parts and pieces it looks like to make a motorcycle. So I'm also gonna update this one more level because uh, my common game stage that I get to, or trader stage rather now, at the end of week one would be finishing up through the second set of quests. So this is commonly where I'm at. Now, additionally, I will typically spend one point into Daring Adventure, as I mentioned in kind of the, the tip section there. So that brings me up to 82. So I do have a little bit of concerns about longevity in terms of already being able to hit some of these high end things. So in theory, I would have access to buy a motorcycle by the end of week one, which I still feel is a little bit too fast. And I've made some comments to the devs, so I, I apologize if this table gets some updates in the near future, but I do think progression in so far as the trader is a little bit too fast still. If there's any updates to this, I will make sure to do an updated video explaining what those updates are so you can understand how to use the trader to the best effect for your playthrough. Hopefully this gives you a good idea of how to manipulate trader stage Remember those three factors up here that we've got your player level, your quest tier level, and your daring adventurer level, with of course the trader quest level being the most powerful. Hopefully this gives you a good idea of what you need to do to get what you want out of the traders. This was a ton of research to pull this video together, so if you did appreciate it, consider dropping a like down below and, you know, let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Hey folks, it's Echo here. I hope you enjoyed that breakdown on trader stage. I wanna give a huge shout out to all my Patreon supporters over here. Thank you so much, folks. I'm going to get editing on the next video. Take care all.